I'm Jim Cavanaugh. I'm the owner of Clint's Comics. I started reading comics when I was three years old. The first Saturday in May, there's always a thing called Free Comic Book Day. You know, we're still thriving after, you know, 40 plus years. People collect uh, comics because it, it does give them, it brings back their childhood too. Uh, Clint Murray, uh, we bought the store from him in 1975. This right here, that is Clint Murray, the original owner of Clint's. We've been here for going on 47 years. These are old pictures of me at Clint's. That was uh, like probably 80. And uh, we've been successful ever since. Uh, we sell toys. We do sell, uh, you know, statues, things like that. But 99% of our stuff is based on comic books. We sell comics that range from the 1940s up to today. Some of the comics today are, are worth in the thousands of dollars. So, you know, uh, no, you, you, you kind of put them away because so you, you don't want to get them stolen. Jim Cavanaugh was the owner of Clint's Comics. He purchased the comic book store from the original owner, Clint Murray, in 1975. And at the time of his death, it is believed that the comic book store was the oldest continuously owned comic book store in the entire nation. On May 12, 2017, Jim was at work at his beloved comic book store right here where I'm walking right now when a man, bald, white, in his mid-40s, came in, presumably to be a customer and was looking around in his store. At the time, Jim's comic book shop did not have any surveillance cameras, but it is presumed because there were several eyewitnesses out here at the time the crime was committed. A couple people were right by those dumpsters right there throwing away trash. The thief comes running out of this door to the back of the comic book store and as he's running into this parking lot right here, Jim is running after him, screaming, quote, I've been robbed. So the suspect, again, described as a middle-aged white male that was bald, jumps into what looks to be, according to these stills from the surveillance video from one of the cameras on one of these buildings out here, a mid-2000 Suzuki Arrow. He jumps into that car, and Jim goes to the door to open it. He opens the door and the guy starts taking off. All of a sudden, he stops his car, he puts it into reverse as the door is open and he hits the gas, throwing Jim onto the ground. Jim hit his head somewhere out here in this parking lot and was knocked out unconscious. The man in the white hatchback proceeds to pull out of here. I'm not sure what direction he went, but he took off like a bat out of hell. The eyewitnesses to the robbery quickly came to Jim's aid and called 911. Unfortunately, they were put on hold for over 17 minutes. Valuable time wasted. By the time the paramedics arrived and took Jim to the hospital, he was pronounced dead. Now, it is believed that Jim didn't die from the blow to the head when he fell onto the ground, but that he had a heart attack during the encounter with the robber. The comic book business to me is similar to the restaurant industry. You don't buy a comic book store because you're trying to make a lot of money. Oftentimes, believe it or not, these guys that own these little comic book stores they're barely, barely squeaking by. Sometimes they don't even make a profit. They just do it because it's a love and a passion for collecting comics that they just want to at least try to make a living at. And if they don't make a living, they still enjoy it simply as a hobby. This man wasn't making money hand over fist. He probably was just making enough money to pay his rent, to pay the utilities, to keep the comic book shop going. And some guy comes in here, wants to steal from a small business owner, 
and in the process ends up murdering him right here where I'm standing. Again, guys, we don't have much of a description of the man that is responsible for the murder of Jim Cavanaugh. All we know is that he's a white male, bald, in his mid-40s, driving a mid-2000s Suzuki Aereo white hatchback, kind of similar to the car that I'm showing you right now on your screen. Not many of those cars were produced and sold. A pretty unusual and rare car, to say the least. If anybody has any information on the unsolved murder of Jim Cavanaugh, please contact Kansas City Crime Stoppers, 816-474-TIPS, 816-474-8477. I'm Lamont at Large. I will see you on the next vlog. I hope to. Anyways, have a good day. Be safe out there, guys. Peace out.